This package is a new fingerboard. I ordered it from Amazon, but it's a broken knuckle fingerboard or People's Republic. Now this is my first official good fingerboard. Now I unboxed the Tech Deck, loved it. Like, I know people aren't fans of the Tech Decks, but you gotta understand that I haven't fingerboarded on anything good. So I'm living in the 90s and the new Tech Deck is just pff, blew my mind. So now I've got this. P-Rap board, and I'm gonna see what this is all about, and of course I ripped right into the, the thing. Okay, big sticker, looks like I'll have to set it up, which is cool. I like the packaging. Whoa, this thing is super light. It feels like paper, like, wow, man, this is crazy, like, and the kicks on this thing, oh, man, this is dope. Now, I've never used foam, so I'm not sure how I'm going to like foam, but it feels cool. Got a little sticker, more stickers. I don't have a nail file. I have a razor blade, I have sandpaper. How do you remove it with it? Alright, so this is the small parts. Very tiny, very tiny. So I think that I'm gonna like the hardware under the grip tape. So I'm just gonna put them on like that. the first time I've ever experienced bearings on a fingerboard too so they include one extra screw and one extra bolt which is cool now this grit not a hundred percent on how to do this but let's see I've got a razor it says to use a file but I don't have a file man very hard to get off Now, I've used foam on fingerboards before, but in the past. Now, this is when I was a kid and maybe a teenager. This was before it was perfected. The first time I used foam was when I was like, I was probably like 10, and it was the crappiest fingerboard, but it was sure fun to just roll around with. But this foam feels different. I've never used this type of foam. Okay, not the best grip job, but it's the first time I'm putting on the foam, so it's pretty good, I think, for that. There's still some scraggly pieces here and there, but it looks, for the most part, good. Now these, whoa, <laughs> that's crazy. So there's bearings in these wheels, that's insane. That's crazy. Okay, so took me a minute to adjust, but yeah, the foam is nice. It's kind of the same as grip, except you don't feel it. It's not, it's not as rough, but it has like the same feeling, which is cool, but there's that, it, it leaves out the tactile feel. I guess like, I don't care for either, you know, like the foam is cool, the grip tape is cool. Like I like the grip on the tech deck, it's nice, but this is also nice too. I'm gonna have to get used to this. As for the shape, it doesn't seem too much different from the Tech Deck, really. 
it's wider, you know. Let's check it out. I don't think it's wider. I think they're both 32. Yeah, they're both 32. They look similar in shape. Kicks might be just like a tad higher or they're like almost the same. Yeah, so the Tech Deck's heavier and the, this P-Rep is uh, very light. Now, I would say they're both, they're both good. Now, I'm coming from a background of all toys, so I kind of approach things with playability. Both of these are great. Now, this is definitely lighter and it feels nicer. The wheels are definitely cooler having the bearings. Trucks are... Might be the same as Tech Deck, not sure. They don't look like it. These look like they're a little bit wider. So the Tech Deck trucks are actually wider than the P-Rep. So this is a little bit skinnier trucks. Yeah, dude, this is really nice, actually. Like, this is a, it's a nice feel. You know, somebody told me that it's uh, not too far off from being, like, a good wood deck from other companies in a mix between tech decks, and I can feel it. You know, it is very similar feel to me to tech deck, like, trick-wise, so the, I think the tail and nose might be the same kind of pop as that. It's definitely lighter. I'm going to play with it for a little while and make a little edit and see what I can do with it. So after playing with it for a while, I'll give a little bit of a more in-depth review. So after using this for a while, this is a very good board, you know, and I got it on Amazon and I got it on Amazon for like, I believe it was like $11. So this is a really good price for a board this good. It's lighter than a tech deck. It's got a nice shape. It's got bearings in the wheels. And what I like about that is when you're doing grinds or flip tricks, you hear them swooshing in the air which is really cool like I really like that I've never experienced that so it's really nice the trucks are pretty good everything about this board is solid especially for under $15 you can go to the website and get them but they're like 20 25 plus you can find these on Amazon for cheaper this company goes by two different names they're like broken knuckles broken knuckle or people's Republic or P rep for short I I honestly think P-Rep is a cooler name and cooler aesthetic. Sticker-wise from what I've seen, Broken Knuckles, you should just toss that and go with, go with P-Rep, that's my opinion. But yeah, I got this because I really like purple and yellow and this deck was pretty affordable and I gotta say, I like it. I like the foam. The foam has a different kind of feel. It's, um, you know, grippy, but it doesn't hurt your fingers, so I can see why people like it. I think either or is fine, but yeah, this is a good deck. If you're looking to get into fingerboarding and you want something a little bit better than a tech deck, then go with these. These are really good. I got it online. You can find it in a lot of different places. It's really nice. So yeah, check out P-Rep boards or broken knuckle boards.